Hello there, welcome back to Top Aristan and uh, Shannon Shah. I believe that's what it was called. Might be messing up. We are still focusing on military attack and we'll be doing that for a while. We'll be attacking Circassia right away. I am again really tempted to go after the Golden Horde, but I can't call the provinces, so it doesn't really doesn't really matter for me. But as it turns out, uh, these guys actually do have a claim to one of their provinces. Circassia has claims across the entire board. Georgia, well, not really helpful, but they do have a claim. But for first things first, we are going to declare war here on uh, Circassia with the goal of assassination again. They do have 3,000 men though, so we're going to go ahead and try and find and murder those 3,000 men, well, rather rapidly here, because of course, they might just be 3,000, but if they, well, get get troops to, to aid them, they can suddenly become a, a rather big issue here. What I'm hoping for also is that soldiers are just peasants uniform. I don't really want to take any war exhaustion right now. What I'm also hoping for is that Shrevan and well, Tobaristan can get here and and let's see here. Gazimuk are going to siege this one because they do have two thousand troops. So hopefully the mechanic works, but apparently it doesn't. The idea is that they want to build up their army some more. Or well, basically they aren't listening to me, but I would guess we're just building up some their army some more and then they're ready to go. Now, Georgia is actually building up their army, which is, not surprisingly, they are kind of be... They're kind of in my position right now. They're stuck between people that want them dead on all sides, and that is, of course, not good for them. But we will uh, just wait, allow the war here now to end uh, with these guys. The Timurids are currently at war with Uzbek and the Golden Horde, which could benefit me, but I doubt it for the time being. Again, I'll just sit by. Diplomatic points aren't really that important, at least not as of this moment. So, uh, I'll just, as I said, wait here. And I think, for the time being, we'll just cancel the military access we have with Nagai to save some points. And again, here, I'll try to get a deal of some description with the Ottomans. Uh, hopefully, well, or best case scenario, potentially, they might end up giving me some uh, subsidies in a war against, for instance, Karakonlu, because they would like me to get rid of them but uh, we'll have to see that as we go and I think I'll use the other guy here to just improve relations with my with my vassals so hopefully again we can win the uh, the wars without too much fuss there we go everything has been sieged uh, Sherman really went on a uh, creation spree here with armies they are currently creating a 10k army which is kind of scary because they could kick my ass they could definitely just turn around and hey you are not a you're not our overlord anymore. Which is scary, as I'm saying. It's not a good thing. And of course here we are going to mass... I regret my decision. I should just go for annex and release, but I guess vandalization just have to be what I do here then. But uh, it's fine. Uh, I didn't consider the fact that they were orthodox, and I screwed that up. But I do at least now have one more part for our ally. And we are going to put our troops in position and then we're going to invade Georgia right away we've been warned by Karakonlu well I guess in that case we don't really want to attack them the Golden Horde is allied with the Ottomans in Uzbek Crimea is allied with the Ottomans in Nogai so we don't really have too much we can do right now so I guess we'll just probably get a claim on Ardabil and Hopefully here yeah, I can drag the Ottomans into a potential war in the future. For now we'll just again sit down peaceful and see if I can get uh, get something here with Georgia or something like that. We'll uh, just have to wait and see. We got military attack 4 which will make us kind of a uh, annoying thing to fight. Military attacks for 0.25, we we'll get land morale increased by 0 0.5 and we can build an armory all which are useful especially considering that we are ahead Karakonlu military attack and military tactics which should lead us to have well fewer losses and the morale will allow us to stay in battles for longer so all in all it's a really beneficial uh, upgrade I guess I should say I really wish I could attack these guys but uh, apparently I can't hmm. until the 70s wow well, I think I definitely need to consider getting myself into a position where, well, I can either ally the Ottomans, not likely, or 
I'm a little bit unsure how Caraconio, what Caraconio really can do here. How many troops they have, etc. Let's just check that out right away. There they are. They have 15,000 troops as we speak. What do I have? I have more troops at the moment. So if I actually just sit on my arse here and wait, I could in theory get a bigger army than theirs pretty rapidly and use that to my advantage which is of course really really useful and if I can get subsidies or something from the Ottomans and potentially the Timurids too if I'm nice to them I can probably win if I can win that first war against them I'm also set for declaring another war no I want to keep the one with the, the, the Timurids they are kind of useful and if I can then get that yeah if I can then uh, use the warning on Georgia we are pretty much set I think that is what we'll have to do. I'll be aiming at basically now waiting for a little while. I'm a little bit unsure if I want to march my arm back home. I don't think I do. Uh, if the Timur is attacked, it will be horrible, but Karakonli is kind of the bridge here. And if the bridge attacks, then I can attack the bridge. I'm also a little bit unsure if I want to wait uh, for another attack level or if I just want to go for an attack here. They only have Trebizond as a vassal. Basically, I have a stronger well, base of vassals and if I attach to my units or to this unit we can probably make some pretty decent moves especially if we hold up in Ardabil and try to defend I think we have the best shot of winning a war right now so I'm going to up my uh, up my maintenance here and we're actually going to go for a war against Karakonli right away now I should probably have timed this a little bit better so I attack them when uh, basically they were at their weakest but I didn't do that which is not good but uh, hopefully with this I can use my allies as a shield of some description and luckily enough they're actually joining in here and that is a really big Karakonian army if I can destroy that we are basically set I would dare say so if I can catch them off guard do I want to sacrifice those 3,000 men? I think I do, for we, because we're going to take out these 4,000. And, let's face it, they're going to be hurting morale-wise up here. Unfortunately, we got a really bad mal malice as well when we attacked. But, now, the big question is, do I want to attack? I think I do. They only have half morale. I can get them out of the mountains. i got a Regency Council, which is not good, but at least that means that I can now find a 8-year eight, eight war. And that is a tremendous result! Thank you, team. As you can see, we've destroyed basically most of their army here. They still have 7,000 men there, so they're not dead. They're far from dead. But let's face it, if I can now use one army here to just stay in siege, and use the other army as kind of a hunting army, if you will, to hunt down their armies before they kind of get away. No, we're just going to wait. We're going to play this uh, in kind of a careful manner. I don't want to buy any mercenaries just yet. We're going to just again sit back and wait. Should probably go all the way them right there. On the piety. What the hell are you two doing? Let's see here. Yep. Kinda looks like Mex <laughs> kinda looks like Mexico but isn't. Luckily enough we also have some Persian nationalists here, and the Timurids are all the way up in Uzbek. This could get really, really interesting. Also up in the Golden Horde. I could get Persian as a vassal here also. Pretty damn early. No matter how I look at this, it looks pretty damn good for my uh, for my side. We okay. We don't want to leave. Now, basically, I'm hoping that my allies will be sensible and protect them, protect each other more or less. And hopefully, I can win this war by basically waiting out. If I can take. Basically, four or five promises out of this, I'm going to be happy, happy, happy. Now, I'm a little bit unsure if I can actually have something out to my vassals, but by taking Ardabil, for instance, I can easily annex these two. Most likely. Malikatas, huh? Well, I'm going to send an army. And as you see, even a 13,000 man army is not something they want to send into an army that I, well, protect. Which is kind of interesting to note. Because that means that, due to the defensive bonuses, they will most likely win any battle that we end up encountering, which is, of course, really, really good. But, 
a standstill here is going to be kind of a pain in the ass. The battle wise, we are going to be at 10% war, so we could demand, for instance, just Ardabil. But I think we're going to drag this battle out, or war, if you will, out until I actually win. And I think I might have to focus on the diplomatic points here to keep war exhaustion down because we do not want to lose this war basically because I, well, my guys got, got tired. So, for the time being, I'll send those guys up there to, again, benefit. And hopefully here, the uh, the forces that they have, that is, uh, I'll take a point of mercantilism, that is losing, will will do so in style. But yeah, I think, I think I really think this battle, or this war here might be what will change it for me. I think I'll take these five provinces, and I will take these five here. And I'm a little bit unsure if I want to release Armenia, for instance. Uh, potentially... Potentially I could do something really interesting. I could go for releasing, basically taking the four provinces around the capital, releasing Persia and also uh, Armenia, and using that to my advantage in a future war. Going for annexation of, uh, well, these guys. And of course, also, I think annexing Circassia should be a priority. Um, basically, I might have to annex and release. I'm a little bit not sure how I want to handle Georgia, because I'm pretty sure I can't just go straight out and annex on them. And I'm pretty sure also that as a Shia, I'll have a real hard time converting their provinces. I might have to go for religious ideas as my first idea set, just to just cope with that. But uh, again, for the time being, we'll just wait and we'll see how things play out. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. What are you doing? Well, that was kind of a good move. Not gonna lie. Now, if they resiege one province, that's not going to matter much because we are resieging more, th or we are sieging more than them. And I can most likely already get a good deal out of it if I go for it. But I'll wait, I'll play things slowly, and if I end up in a battle, I'll show you. So, we won the siege of Tabriz, which is their capital, and. Unfortunately here, yeah, their army decided to march for one of mine, which is not beneficial to me in any way. But, uh, I think I'm going to join my army up now to a, well, kind of doomstack. And we're going to challenge their doomstack, because, well, if we combine both armies, ours is bigger. I guess you could say. So hopefully here, yeah, I can get this army to join m mine, and then we can, uh, can kick their ass. That is at least the hope. But uh, I'm a little bit unsure on the on the semantics here if I can actually pull that off, because as you see, and my allies are forced focused on well, more or less just sieging. But at least they're joining in this battle, which I honestly did not really intend for. But we still are ahead in military attack, and that is kind of what is winning us battles so far. So as long as we keep on well, keeping the military attack up in in uh, in advantage, we should be able to to make well, to make a victory out of this. For now, however, I'll just hang back and replenish, and we'll continue this war next time. We are in a really good position here. We are kicking... We're kicking Karakonli back, to be honest. They have low enthusiasm. They are probably running out of manpower, I would presume. Oh, they still have 10,000. Wow, that's, that's not good. They should be running out of money, at least. But... Uh, all in all, the goal here will be, I think, to hopefully release Persia, because as you can see, they are Persian nationalists. But I'm a little bit unsure if I release them, or release Persia, if those guys will actually... Well, I'm a little bit unsure how the Red Bulls work right now, but it seems my like Persia will most likely break free. And again, I'm a little bit unsure if I want to release them as a vassal, if I just want to wait and potentially attack them in the future. Neither sound, or either sounds good for me. But uh, we're going to continue this next time for now. We're looking pretty good. Hopefully, we can win the war next time. I'll see you then. Feel free to comment in the comments, praise criticism, anything you feel like. And, uh, well, I'll see you next time. Bye.